welcome back in the last class we started the chapter static electricity and studied what is static electricity and how it is produced did you remember that if the electric charge produced in an object remains at the same place in it it is called static electricity then can metals be electrically charged through friction let's see rub a copper rod against wool silk or polyester and find whether it attracts other objects what do you observe yes it doesn't attract if you repeat the process with a hacksaw blade steel spoon or any metal the same will happen that is it never attracts this shows static electricity is not formed on metal surface though metal surface is electrified on friction the charge is spread immediately to other parts as it is a conductor so static electric charge is not formed on metals is it attraction alone that takes place between charged bodies let's find out suspend two inflated balloons in such a way that they touch each other place a flannel between them and rub the two balloons on it observe the balloons after removing the flannel what do you observe yes when the balloon is rubbed against flannel positive charge is developed on balloon and negative charge is developed on flannel like charges ripple each other so the balloons ripple each other when the flannel is removed from them suspend a glass rod using a thread and rub it with silk another charged glass rod near the suspended one what do you observe yes the both will ripple each other i will explain when a glass rod is rubbed with silk glass rod acquired positive charge and silk acquired negative charge here the two glass rod get same charge so they ripple each other let's do another experiment rub with silk a suspended glass rod and bring the rubbed part of the silk near the glass rod what do you observe the glass rod and silk attracts each other what do you understand from this a charged object attract or repel another charged object so the properties of electric charge are charged body attracts uncharged bodies unlike charges attract each other and like charges repel each other the unit of electric charge is coulomb electric charge is a scalar quantity how do we know that a body is charged yes for that we use electroscope electroscope is the instrument to know the presence of static electric charge observe the figure Can you identify the parts? Metal sphere, 
glass jar, metallic conductor and gold leaves. Gold can be converted into very thin metal plate. So it is used in gold leaf electroscope as gold leaves. If we touch the top end of the electroscope with a charged material, the gold leaf repel each other or they diverge. The reason is the charge received by the electroscopic disc passes through the copper wire through the leaves of the electroscope. Both the leaves acquire same charge and hence they repelled apart. Let's conclude today's session. Today we have studied some properties of electric charge. See you in the next class. Thank you.